Hello, welcome to NX tutorial. So in this session, I will explain about Mold Wizard. This one, if you not see this, for example, maybe I hide this tab. I go to application. In here, you must click Mold, and then you go to Mold Wizard. This one. Okay, Mold Wizard is a special tool uh, designed for. Uh, plastic injection molding so in here I will explain about initialize project if you want to start using mold wizard then the first step is initialize project in here I have a mouse a cover mouse in here I want to make a uh, injection molding for this part so the first thing I should do is to create by using initialize project I click this now I want to show you and explain a little bit about this window you can see the path this is the way uh, this is the path that I open this file most case upper part file so this is the place where I open this file okay this is the name of the project for example, I rename it as mouse. Okay, then uh, the later project will be named as mouse. The material in here we have a lot of material from a nylon, ABS, and so on. Is in here you can see we have several uh, material, and this one we have an ABC material. Actually, this is a uh, one of my a uh, custom made. I will show you how to create this ABC material now in here we have a shrinkage also because every uh, every plastic have different uh, shrinkage uh, factor you can see ABS have this number PPO ABS plus PC something like this for example I will take ABS for this and in here we have configuration uh, we have the option mold v1 esi and original so if you want to create a mold assembly you must go to mold v1 but if you want to create a simulation for plastic injection molding then you go to esi so in here because i want to create the cat model for plastic injection molding uh, the mold itself i will use mold v1 in here we s we can see the, the attributes you can see name the customer you can change the name the designer the customer name for example designer name for example okay the setting a millimeters and inch if this part is inches and you want to create millimeters you can also uh, do that without uh, changing the units for this uh, for this cat model in here I, I will use millimeters and I check this renamed components why I check this because when I, after I click OK I can rename all the assembly uh, structure if you just want to accept the default name you can uncheck this one but if you want to rename it you can check this and then you can rename it so before I click OK as I previously mentioned we have in here ABC material this is my uh, custom made ABC material I can do that by using edit material database you can see in here I have ABC material and I just edit the shrinkage factor just only one zero 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 one okay you can also edit the project configuration this is the, the configuration okay and also you can edit the customized attribute in here the custom attribute okay so by using this you can edit this one edit project configuration you can edit configuration this one and material database you can edit the material database in here now when I click OK the new window will be appear because I
check the rename components you can see in here I will explain a little bit by default the NX mold wizard will use this kind of a structure you can see in here in here you can see the top the top is the main assembly miscellaneous you can see in here side A side B and the combiner and also the production in here where's the core the cavity will be inside the production in here okay and you in here we have fill also we have cooling cooling channel for here now if you want to rename this for example I want to rename this I want to rename it as the uh, model one maybe for example I have the other model as a model two which is maybe quite a similar with this shape but there's some uh, differences for example I want to rename it as the model one model one maybe I should name it model one like this and the next part number I want to make it good for example this is zero zero the other is one two zero four five six I can select next part number as zero zero or maybe zero one or zero two something like this I set selected names model mouse model zero one a template name is variation miscellaneous miscellaneous something like that and this will start like I already type in here 001 you can see in here one two three four five and so on after that I will click OK but before I click OK I will show you that we still on the uh, design envi environment you can see in here this is all the feature to create this model it's still in design there's no assembly in here but when I click OK it will create the assembly tree like this okay now after this what I would want to do is to save save as in here most top okay or maybe I want to save all for example save all if I save all as you can see I not yet have any part from this assembly but when I after I click save all it will create all parts in here let me show you save all Okay, it said all parts successfully saved. Let me show you if I just open the same window using save as. Now you can see this is the original most case upper. And this is all the part in here. Okay. Now, you see in here the original name is most case upper. But in the model in here the part is not loaded. So when I uh, double click, it said cannot be made visible is an extruded reference set so what appear in here inside the mold wizard assembly is just only the link body link body okay it's very important for you to remember this is just a link body so when you create something modification from on this uh, part you edit the link body not edit the original cat model okay so if you want to edit this part you must go to here a lot easier if you find in here change display part in here you find something we call molding this one model one molding select part and okay this is the link body you can see this one so it linked to the original part so if you create modification it will not affect the original part yeah. okay the location is in here okay the molding so that's it
about the initial as uh, project as the beginning for to start uh, mold wizard uh, please watch my next video i will explain a lot of things about mold wizard uh, thank you